It all started in first grade at the Warren G. Harding School. This is Eileen, and this is the blackboard from her seat. And this is the blackboard from my seat. Yes, we are members of the alphabetical ghetto, forever doomed by the fateful last letter of our last names to be at the very end of every line known to man. The authorities were passing out. They would run out of goodies by the time they got to us. Medical science has finally begun to realize that those of us at the end of the alphabet live shorter lives, sweat more. And they tend to eat kebab willingly, unlike those in the B's and E's. The Warren G. Harding School had an almost mystical belief in the alphabet. If you were a P, you sat behind every O, regardless of myopia. Kebab? We were adept at reading the teacher's voice, if not the content, of those far-off sounds, sensing instantly when danger was looming. Danger simply meant being called. The kids in the front of the classroom didn't know the meaning of danger. They grew up never doubting they are destined to be at the head of the class, with the lumpen world of the audience. We evolved our own methods of survival in class. Hmm. Pearl Mother can sit for hours without moving a muscle. As anonymous as a pale hat rack. He was a born cost accountant. Zinsmeister. Destined to go through life listed on the last page of every telephone directory. His defense was religion, divine intervention, Buddhism, Christianity, and flying spaghetti monsterism. He is a polytheist. The click of his beads as they were counted kept up a steady castanet beat during Miss Shields' distant clucking. One day, during an oral quiz, Schwartz faced a crisis. Well, please answer this question, Mr. Schwartz. This is terrible! He displayed the true stuff of champions at that moment. She never called on him again. My salvation is simple. I moved like a snake, always keeping a line of kids between me and the teacher's eagle eye. For the salvations, it was only natural for her to put down a bee. And a bee is all I ever wanted out of life. I can truthfully say that, after all these years of my life at Warren G. Harding School, actually I learned one true fact about the great world. It has been endlessly useful ever since. Boy, kids today sure are a lot smarter than we was when we was kids. Why, at this age I hardly knew anything. Uh. I learned an especially important thing today. Bolivia exports tin. May I have the cracker? <laughs> what? Hey! Hey! Wait, Pepper! Hey! Hey! Wait a moment! Pepper, please tell him the thing! What's the matter, Uncle? Do you mean the thing about Bolivia exporting tin? Every generation believes that the new generation is brighter, taller, and more beautiful than the one before. Hey, hey Shepard, please tell him this thing about Bolivia. Your first class in your school year will begin in five minutes. Any questions? Hi. <clears throat> okay, settle down. Let's
Let's get organized. Please be quiet. Rah! We sit alphabetically in this class. A is up here. Oh, shit. Class, my name is Mr. Pittinger. If you work in this class, you'll have no trouble. If you don't, I promise you nothing. Ahem. <clears throat> that is the subject of this course. Algebra is the mathematics of abstract numbers. <laughs> The class wasn't 30 seconds old, and I was already 6 weeks behind. Think! Reason it out! I tried to keep on warning my brain. But I realized there is something that was completely opaque and unlearnable. Mr. Pittinger had informed us that the final exam covering a year's work of algebra would be held in three months. It made me feel like a dead prisoner. Then I was going to fail. F. 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 The big one, my own scarlet letter. It was around Christmas. I began to hope I would be blind because of some exotic debilitating disease. How innocent they are. Just one minute till class ends. On this fateful Wednesday, I feel the coming Mr. of spring throughout Mr. my body. Mr. Shepard, come to the board, please. Give us the value of C in this equation. There is no feeling in my feet when I'm scared. The value of C, please. What did the sea look like? Where the hell was it? See? She? Shh. Shit. See? See, please. Now I have to explain that for years I had been the leader of the atheist free thinkers of the Warren G. Harding School. Now I am not sure. I didn't believe in miracles. 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 C is equal to zero. <laughs> How the hell did you know? Sir, I used empirical methods. Red Shepherd! Alright, alright, calm down. Hi, Shepard. After that day, even Jack Morton, the biggest smartass in class, said hello to me through abstract hand signs which only mathematicians can understand. Ah! Hey, Shepard! You phony son of a bitch! You phony bastard! You! You study! The following afternoon I created the papers with Pip. In all honesty, I showed, I showed no, no mercy, mercy when, when I, I marked Schwartz's pitiful travesty. Because algebra is an absolute science and there can be no margin for kindness in matters of the mind. 